Gibraltar is one of the most prosperous areas of Europe. These shores share a mixture of natural wealth and fiercely patriotic residents, proudly protective of their sovereignty on this British overseas territory. The latest GDP figures show an 8% growth and just 1% unemployment. On the other side of the border, the Spanish town of La Línea. Here, there's 40% unemployment, among the highest levels on the continent. Spanish workers in La Línea rely on their neighbours' booming economy, but animosity between the two countries has led to hours of delays going through border controls. It's now jeopardising their income. There is this hatred in between Spanish and British. This doesn't bring us any, any good to anybody. Some people, I think that they sleep at night with the Spanish flag all around them and they only think on the patriotism of the rock. But they forget that they are not patriotic with the Spanish children on the queue seven hours. Is false patriotism. According to the Spanish Interior Ministry, the queues are necessary to catch cigarette smugglers. They started after the Gibraltar government dropped concrete blocks into the water to create an artificial reef. The Spanish government claims the waters are theirs and the blocks must be removed. On Friday, it sent Guardia Civil divers to measure them. Gibraltar's chief minister, though, says they're only damaging their own economy. It's having a serious impact principally on Spanish workers who need to come into Gibraltar every day. Some of them need to drive into Gibraltar. They cannot leave their cars in Spain because of the nature of their job. So it really is causing hardship for them and for the tourists who are not aware of what's going on, who get caught up in these queues. These clear waters surrounding the rock provide a valuable resource. Marine biologists in Gibraltar believe both sides could benefit from stimulating this Mediterranean ecosystem. You see, pelagic fish come into inshore waters each year, every year, to lay their eggs. All we do is we go out there and we fish and we fish and we fish. We don't put anything back. Within the EU now, you know, the directives now where you've got to have areas of uh, special interest, you've got to protect areas. That's what we're doing. The Rock of Gibraltar used to provide an important strategic position for Britain. Now for most Brits, it's more of a tourist attraction. These Barbary macaque have been captured on tourist cameras so often they're not actually afraid of humans anymore. But that's causing some trouble for people down in the town because they're increasingly going down there and trying to scavenge food. And they can be rather aggressive. The British warships on a training exercise are still docked in the bay. For many residents, a symbolic show of support. For most tourists, though, just another curious feature encapsulating the novel nature of life on one of the world's most contested pieces of rock. Anna Holligan, BBC News, Gibraltar.